electronic configuration of certain elements and its reason. So let's see, here I have given you the atomic or electronic configuration of chromium. Chromium having the atomic number 24. So according to Afka principle, this is the supposed to have electronic configuration. This should be the electronic configuration of chromium. That is according to Afka principle, according to the increasing order of energies, atoms should be filled, electrons should be filled in the orbital. So 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2 and 3d4. That should be the electronic configuration of chromium. But that is not the observed electronic configuration of chromium. But instead, this is the electronic configuration of chromium. That is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s1 and 3d5. That means electron has gone to the higher energy orbital before filling the lower energy orbital. What may be the reason for that? So this explains, this particular, particular exceptional behavior of chromium explains the extra stability offered by the half filled orbitals in an atom. So half filled, half filled and completely filled. Here in this case it is half filled orbital. So these two categories, that means there will be an extra stability if the outermost shell that should be filled is half filled or completely filled in an atom, that atom acquires an extra stability than expected. That is the reason for filling up of 3D orbital into 5, leaving 4S1 without getting completely filled as 4S1. You know that this forest orbital, in this the forest orbital the maximum number of electrons that can be accommodated is 2, okay. And in 3D actually D subshell is having 5 degenerate orbitals, okay. So this is 3D subshell in that each orbital will be containing two electrons. And so total 10 electrons. So here we have 3D5. So this D orbital, 3D orbital will be having One electron each according to Hans rule of maximum multiplicity. If it is half also, it will be placed in each orbital. Okay. So this is 3D5. And since it is, it is supposed to be 3D10, this becomes just the half of 3D10. Okay. So this is half filled orbital. This orbital here is a half filled orbital. But if it goes according to the half bar principle, it gets not a half filled orbital, 3D4 it gets. So, in order to attain the extra stability offered by the half filled orbital, instead of filling that 4S orbital as 4S2, this one electron, it's one electron that's supposed to be in 4S orbital to form 4S2 will jump to the next higher energy orbital of 3D and it will become 3D5. What is the reason? In order to attain the extra stability offered by the half filled orbital. So for chromium with atomic number 24, instead of having the electronic configuration 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2 and 3d4, it will, have, it will be having the electronic configuration 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s1 and 3d5 in order to get the extra stability offered by the half filled orbital in the outermost shell. Now you can see here the exceptional electronic configuration of copper. Copper is having the atomic number 29. So it is supposed to have the electronic configuration 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2 and 3d9 according to Aufbau principle.
So the lower energy levels will be filled first and then move to the next higher energy level. So this should be the supposed to have electronic configuration. But it is not the electronic configuration of copper. Instead, copper prefer to have an electronic configuration of 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s1 and 3d10. This is the electronic configuration of copper. What may be the reason? You know that to get this 4s orbital filled, you should have 4s2 electronic configuration. But instead, it is having 4s1 and then that extra one electron is moved to the next higher energy level without filling 4s orbital to 3d10 orbital and this 3d9 became 3d10. What may be the reason? This is because the extra stability, in order to attain the extra stability offered by the completely filled outermost shell. Okay? So here, 3d is as we have said, see 3D is a degenerate orbital. Degenerate orbital means orbitals with same energy. Okay. Degenerate orbital which is containing 5 D orbitals. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Okay. So if it is 3D 10 means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it is a completely filled orbit. And it gives an extra stability to the atom which is having a completely filled completely, completely filled outermost shell. Okay. It gives an extra stability. Session.